Okay, so I'm making this video because a couple of you have sent me your work and it's really good, but you've kind of missed a little bit of the point. Um, now, the idea with this is that the, uh, the faces flow. Okay, so imagine you're kind of flipping and then flipping. All right, so if I get um, a 3D object in here, for example, so uh, let's look at this lid here so that way looking at it from the front view i'm seeing a circle okay i'm then going to flip it to the side in which case it's a rectangle okay and then i'm going to flip it to the top which is then still going to be a rectangle okay that flip so you can see in my hand that it is actually flipping and that's the best way to think about it. So the isometric drawing doesn't actually matter, okay? It's then the front drawing, okay? So what we then do is we then have to flip it. Now this is where I use those dashed lines, those faint construction lines. I'll draw those on and then I'll talk to you about what they mean. So can you see how every single horizontal line projects across? Now what that gives me is that gives me the correct height for everything to be. So this camera is flipping to the side. So watch what happens next. So hopefully you can see how that's flipped to the side. So this is the side view of the camera. But look, I used these lines to get the sizes right. Now this is where the isometric drawing is important because I know there's this chamfered edge here, this angled edge. So that's where I can show that bit of detail because from the front, all you'd see if you looked at that from the front, Okay, from that way, all you would see is a rectangle like this. But as I flip it to the side, that's where I see the chamfered edge. Now, as I showed you with this, circle on the side becomes a rectangle. Okay, so that circle there becomes a rectangle here. So now I can do the same for the top view up here. So from every vertical line now, so even this little bit of detail here going up, and what that means, I can now draw the top view. So this is then what the top would look like. Now what I did have to do to make sure the drawing flows properly is I had to measure the distance across here, the distance across here, and the distance across here. So my main body is seven centimeters. So I then made it seven centimeters along here. So it matches, because the idea being is I should be able to continue this flip to get round here. Okay, so I made sure that this is two centimeters, this is two centimeters. Okay, this is three and a half. The diameter is this is three and a half. So that all those measurements line up. But that is how you do the orthographic drawing, making sure that each drawing flows from one to the next.